Hello, today I will be reviewing my trip from Osaka to Nagoya with Willer Express. Booking with Willer Express is by far the best experience I have had so far when booking bus tickets online in Japan as an English speaker. The English language support on the website is great and comparable to that of an English speaking country like Australia. The website is also easy to understand which I cannot say for many Japanese booking websites. The price was okay, as it was a weekend, it cost me 2,600 yen, but you can get tickets for half that price during the week and potentially cheaper even on the weekend if you book far in advance. I kind of left it a little late as I had not realized that the Willer Express terminal was not actually in Umeda station, but actually an 800 meter walk away from it near the Umeda Sky Building. This is written clearly on the email reservation confirmation, so it's really my fault, but it would be nice if the bus departed a little closer to the central transport hub in Osaka. I will advise you to give yourself a 25 minute buffer or so and show up a bit earlier as to not repeat the same mistakes as I did. Luckily, with a bit of speed walking and some egregious jaywalking, I made it to my bus with almost 10 minutes to spare. All I needed to do was tell the bus driver my name. He told me my seat number. Then I hopped on as I didn't have any big bags to put in the bottom of the bus. Once on, the first thing that I noticed was the seating arrangement on the bus. There are two rows of two on each side and a divider down the middle of each row. And also a little tube that can go over your head to block out the sun, which is very useful on a long daytime trip Today, however, is just a short trip of just over three hours, so it wasn't necessary this time. There is also a power outlet, although it is shared with the other person in the row, and I felt a little awkward asking to use it as it's beside the window and I had an aisle seat. The biggest drawback, however, was the lack of a toilet on board, as I have traveled on this route before and there had been one, so I just guess it's a bit of a gamble whether you get a toilet or not. Although of course there is a rest stop to go to the toilet mid journey. It is nice to not have to worry too much about your fluid intake as it's just the worst when you need to go to the toilet really bad on a bus which cannot really stop. If you're careful and lucky, the lack of a toilet shouldn't be a problem though, but it's definitely not ideal. It's also important to point out also that when booking with Willer, that they do use other bus companies sometimes, and you may not be booking a Willer Express bus specifically. When you book through the website, and even long trips may not have a toilet. So it's important to check when you're booking that you've booked a bus which has a toilet for those long trips. From experience, I really do not advise going on an overnight bus, for example, in a bus which doesn't have a toilet. Okay, back to the interior of the bus. The screen at the front of the bus was a nice addition as you could prepare in advance before departing the bus. The legroom is also great and would have been much better if I just chucked my big bag in the bottom of the bus like a normal person. But it's also a shame that the overhead storage is basically useless for anything other than like a tote bag or like a little handbag. The seats are also comfortable enough for the journey although a little straight and upright for my liking. Although there are some cons to the Willer Express, it's definitely made up for by the scenery. When the highway walls were not blocking it, the oftentimes elevated highway gave great views of the cityscape and also of the beautiful mountainous landscape of Japan and some little towns along the way. I would rate this bus journey an eight out of 10 for price, considering that the price, even at the most expensive times, is the cheapest option. I could find. 4 out of 10 for speed as it's like 3 hours in a country which has the Shinkansen. 9 out of 10 for the landscape as it was just beautiful. 8 out of 10 for comfort and 9 out of 10 for ease of booking. And 10 out of 10 for punctuality. Overall if you're on a budget I recommend booking with Wooler Express. If you're not on a budget and are more inclined to rail travel I would just take the Shinkansen as it's much quicker and convenient. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos.